set, they're racing. And to the roar of the crowd, and in the centre, one of the first away, Treasure Beach, up there too in the early stages, Sharetta going on with St Nicholas Abbey. Just behind them, on the inside, the Japanese runner, Hirono Dabur, settles in about fourth position. They're followed by Testosterone, who's right there in the centre. Mast Marvel is further back, followed by Reliable Man. Dame Dream is on the inside, Workforce in about the, this, about the middle of the field as they settle. Gallicover on his inside, followed then by Mayon, then Snow Fairy back in the ruck with So You Think in company with Sarafina, then uh, Nakayama Festa who's second last and Silver Pond is at the tail of the field on settling down though and it's Sharetta the pacemaker who's out in front doing his job well and uh, is uh, being preceded by Treasure Beach Treasure Beach goes on here from Sharetta. They're two lengths to Testosterone. Further back in fourth position, then is St. Nicholas Abbey on the inside of Mast Marvel. Mayon, the white face on the outside, the yellow cap with the, the yellow colours, dark blue cap. In behind runners is Workforce right in the middle of the pack. Snow Fairy is further back. Sarafina's very wide as they race now towards the far edge of the course. 1,200 metres left to travel, six furlongs from home. And out in front, Treasure Beach from Sharetta. Then in third is St. Nicholas Abbey from testosterone followed then by Haruno Damore on the inside of Mast Marvel a length and a half to Daydream as further back in the field there in the orange jacket followed then by So You Think has dropped back to about third last Mayond is about got about six runners behind him Snow Fairy and Reliable Man are two of them they're followed then by Galakova who's trying to get up on the rail then Nakayama Festa followed then by Workforce who's well back again this year So You Think's only got three behind him and Silver Pond is one of them. It's now young Joseph O'Brien who drives St Nicholas Abbey up in the centre to take the lead as they come to the home turn on the inside Treasure Beach. They're followed then by Sharetta who's uh, battling on well. They're followed then behind them by Dane Dream and out wider then is Haruno Damore followed by Snow Fairy who's battling on well. It's anybody's race the arc here as they race up now halfway up the home straight and now Dane Dream for Germany takes it up clearly has sprinted three links in front of Sharetta followed by St Nicholas Abbey, Snow Fairy coming late and so you think from the clouds but the bird has flown, Dane Dream goes on to win the arc for Germany in second place is Sharetta and third then the Snow Fairy followed then by so you think a gallant fourth came from nowhere they were followed then by St Nicholas Abbey further back Sarafina who couldn't get into it, Silver Pond Mayon further back in the field then Nakayama Festa couldn't get near them this year and uh, among the tail enders as they pull up uh, Treasure Beach, Mast Marvel and Reliable Man and Workforces among the tail enders as well. But it's Dane Dream who's won it for Andras Starka and, uh, and also for Peter Schurgen, the second German trained winner of the Prix de l'Arc, the other being Star Appeal at an enormous price. But this filly, who uh, was third in the Italian Oaks, uh, third in the Italian Derby and winner of the Oaks in uh, Italy, has come good and she's won it by a street look at this Dane Dream has won it for Peter Schurgen and then in second was Sharetta who was there for a long way in third is Snow Fairy a gallant performance the former Australian champion so you think has come from third last an enormous cha uh, performance uh, then St Nicholas Abbey and Mayon, they go to the line together. Mayon on the near side yellow jacket. Sarafina was trapped very wide early and could never get into it. Three parts away then is Silver Pond who ran on from a long way back. And then a long gap to the tail enders. Galakova, Olivier Pellier, Hirono de Moore for Japan who was up there early but then got very tired in the home straight. And behind them Nakayama Festa in company with Workforce, who was back in a similar position to last year, but no jet acceleration today. And behind them was Testosterone, who was handy early and then dropped out. And Treasure Beach, who took on a pacemaking role today, this Irish Derby winner, has tired, as you might expect, to finish towards the rear of the field. But here is the winner. And we said beforehand, one of the best collection of horses in Europe seen for many years a true vintage arc on paper and this filly Dane Dream has absolutely sluiced it. Here I am with the winning trainer Peter Schurgen. What a moment this is for you. It's the greatest filly moment in my race sport. It's fantastic. I don't believe it. She's so easy winner. Well you say you don't believe it. The stands were very quiet because they couldn't believe that this filly's come sort of out of the blue really. 
Ja, es ist easy, sie mit aus, es ist von Rest zu Rest besser und relaxer und das ist der beste Horst, was ich train in meinem Leben. First German train winner since Star Appeal, how special is that for you? It's a great moment, perfect. We'll let you go and celebrate, well done. Thank you. Well, Peter Schergen, just the greatest moment of his life and a really versatile filly this. When she won the Italian Oaks, it was pretty fast ground. When she won at Baden-Baden, the Grosser Preis von Baden-Baden, it was really soft. And here she's come on perfect good ground. And Dame Dream has come home in front and a 1-2-3 finish for the fillies. Snow Fairy, the best of the British, coming home in third. And she had no hard luck stories. Frankie Dettori got the gaps when he needed them. She's in the yellow cap with red colours coming into about fourth place now. But an extraordinary race really because Sharetta who was there as a pacemaker for Sarafina managing to hang on and take second place but Daydream's blown them away hasn't she? Well uh, well which seems a strange result but this filly has won a long way uh, she's you know this filly by Lomitas she's just galloped them into the ground she's won quite a long way and the ground is what we described as good ground so Basically, uh, there's no real excuses. We didn't see horses get in October. It looked a clean run race. Everybody seemed to be ha kept straight. But this filly is obviously a very much improving three-year-old filly. And uh, I did say uh, about three fillies uh, finishing one, two, three, but not in that order. Not of those course. three. Not, not, not those, those three. Well. <laughs> no, extraordinary. And, and a three year old takes it once again. And real emotional scenes here. Andra Stark, who rides this filly. You know, the, the, Germany will go mad for this. I mean, this is a real boost for their breeding, for their racing, for, for them in terms of, of sports. I mean, it's a that's long time since Star Appeal, 1975 it? it was. Mm, a long time. And of course, German racing uh, is going through, I would say, uh, quite a bad patch uh, for prize money and keeping the uh, keeping racing going. The betting public are not betting as much as they used to. And uh, this, as you say, Claire, will help ge German racing a tremendous amount getting to win the greatest race over a mile and a half basically in the whole world.